Hey there, YouTube fam, it's your boy back with another hot take on the latest episode of The Boys. Buckle up, because Season 4 Episode 5 just dropped, and it's a wild ride. Let's dive into this crazy shit. Alright, listen up, we're past the halfway point of Season 4, and things are finally heating up. Our boys have been taking L after L, but Butcher's got a plan brewing. And you know when Butcher's plotting, it's gonna get messy. So here's the deal that Gen V virus we've been hearing about, it's finally made its way to the main show. Butcher's teamed up with Jeffrey Dean Morgan's character, Joe Kessler, to track it down. And guess who else is back in the game? Stan fucking Edgar. That's right, the OG Bob Puppet Master is out of prison and mixing it up again. Now, I know some of you have been complaining that this season's been a bit of a downer. We'll strap in, because episode five takes a hard left turn into crazy town. We're talking man-eating sheep, people. Yeah, you heard me right. Flying, carnivorous, sheep. But here's where it gets nuts. Some genius lab tech decided to dose the farm animals with V, and now we've got a horde of bloodthirsty livestock on the loose. It's like Bay Pig in the city meets Sharknado, and I am here for it. This whole sequence is a breath of fresh air after the gritty New York scenes we've been stuck with. Don't get me wrong, I love me some urban squalor, but sometimes you need to watch Carl Urban punch a superpowered chicken to really appreciate life, you know? Now, let's talk about my boy Huey. Oh, Huey, sweet, dumb Huey. Remember how he thought giving his dad V was a good idea? Yeah, that goes about as well as you'd expect. Simon Pegg is back as Hussar and he absolutely crushes it in his final appearance. I'm not gonna lie, fam. This storyline hit me right in the feels. Huey's estranged mom shows up to give Hughes R the V and everything goes to shit. We're talking full on bloody hospital rampage. It's tragic, it's intense, and it's classic The Boys. Jack Quaid and Simon Pegg share this gut-wrenching final scene that'll have you reaching for the tissues. Pour one out for Hugh SR, folks. He may not have been around much, but Pegg always brought his A game. All right, let's lighten the mood a bit and talk about the seven. They're stuck at this Comic-Con knockoff called V52, and it is comedy gold. The show's taking shots at Marvel and DC left and right, my favorite bit. Tech Knight's new movie has a 12-minute sequence that's completely dark. Take that, the Batman. Oh, and for all you Gen V fans out there, we get a cameo from Sam and Kate. They're now the guardians of Godolkin, which sounds about as legit as a $3 bill. Don't expect much screen time from them, but I'm betting they'll play a bigger role as we head into the season finale. Meanwhile, Homelander's still spiraling after that lab massacre in episode 4. Antony Starr continues to kill it as everyone's favorite psycho soup. And can we talk about Cameron Corvetti as Ryan? That kid is nailing the whole conflicted son of a superpowered maniac vibe. Now, I know some of you are probably wondering how all this is going to come together. Trust me, I'm right there with you. But it feels like the pieces are starting to fall into place. Butcher's got that lab assistant cooking up more soup virus, and you just know he's going to do something stupid with it. Before we wrap up, I got to address the elephant in the room. Or should I say the flying sheep? Look, I love the boys for its over-the-top antics, but this episode really pushes the boundaries of believability. I mean, Victoria Neumann can literally explode people with her mind, but she can't take out a few mutant farm animals, come on. And don't even get me started on Starlight and Kimiko. Their powers conveniently decide to take a coffee break right when they need them most. I get it. The show needs tension. But this feels a bit lazy, guys. That being said, I still had a blast with this episode. It's ridiculous, it's gory, and it's exactly the kind of batshit insanity we've come to expect from the boys. Plus, anytime we get more Simon Pegg, I'm happy. So what do you think, YouTube fam? Did you love the carnivorous sheep action or was it too much? Are you excited to see how Butcher's plan unfolds and pour one out for you, Sar? In the comments. Don't forget to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and ring that bell so you don't miss any of my The Boys breakdowns. And hey, if you want to support the channel, check out my Patreon. Link in the description. Until next time, stay super, and remember Vod is always watching.